Well, we've all suffered a great loss in the passing of Sean Whaley. My name is Larry Schoonover, and I was asked to speak to you representing the uh, trustee board of Antioch, the Apostolic Church. Um, I met Sean back in uh, February of 1997. Uh, it was at a uh, prayer and fasting meeting that I was invited to come to. And uh, one of the first things that struck me about the entire staff of Antioch, uh, Sean included, was that they were so real. They were just uh, so authentic. I was used to going to meetings of any scale where people seemed to wear an image. And Sean Whaley didn't do that. Sean Whaley was a real person to me. And uh, through the processing of time, uh, became a genuine friend. Um, oftentimes, when I traveled back to Antioch, uh, it would be Sean that uh, either was selected or arranged, I don't know, to be the person to pick me up at the airport. And uh, he always picked me up in a clean vehicle. That was so nice. But uh, we would enjoy uh, times of fellowship together. I know there were times when he would pick me up at the airport. One time we swung into a Chinese restaurant, and I, I knew the meetings had already started. And uh, I could tell Sean just wanted to talk. And I wasn't sure, but maybe the powers that be uh, weren't so excited about him doing that with me or not. But this is how he and I got to spend time uh, not uh, as frequent as I would like to have, but at least during my trips back there. Um, I, uh, uh, I talked with some of my family members because they too have made many trips uh, to Antioch, and they have all come to know Sean Whaley as a very real and genuine person. One of the men on my staff made a comment to me he said, Sean Whaley was obviously a gifted man of God and greatly used of God, but he, he never promoted himself, nor did he ever promote the gifts that were operating in his life. And so uh, I think many people were impacted that way. Uh, one time uh, he shared with me that he had gotten a call from a, a pastor in Idaho, Twin Falls, Idaho, and they were inviting him to come and to uh, be the speaker in a meeting. Um, I think it was uh, around prayer, spiritual warfare, things of this nature. And uh, he, he told me that he was going. And I said, you're, you're going alone? Just you? And he said, yeah, just me. And uh, grinned the way that he did. And uh, I remember after a few weeks, I began to feel a burden for Sean and concerning this trip that he was making uh, to Idaho. And so I reached out to him and kind of invited myself and said, hey, how would you feel about me coming along and just being there with you? And uh, I was glad that I did. And so he and I, you know, teamed up in the meeting and then, it, and then this gave us a lot of time to spend together, uh, either eating at restaurants or talking in the, uh, you know, the foyer of the hotel. But either way, it was, uh, it was a good time to share with each other. I, uh, I love Sean. I love spending time with Sean. Um, I loved that he was such a genuine individual and such a supportive person. He, he just loved people. One of my uh, girls told me that some of the meetings that they'd been in and that he was there, that you just, you always knew he was in the background. You always knew that he was watching from a side and he was waiting on God and how that God might maybe use him in some way and, and would and did oftentimes in their lives. And so they love and appreciate him as well. My wife shared with me some stories that uh, the way that uh, Sean was used uh, in some of the meetings that we were there that uh, has carried her through even to this day, she said. And so Sean often spoke into the lives of uh, people everywhere. And uh, again, it was always with humility. 
uh, it was always uh, so genuine and so real. It, it's it's easy to love people like Sean Whaley. It really is. Um, from the uh, from the position of um, the trustee board and positions of oversight, Sean was obviously uh, very supportive of the work there all the time. And he loved the rights. He loved Bishop Wright. And uh, you could see it and you could hear it in the things that he communicated about. And so I know that we're, we're all going to miss him. And uh, our sympathies, of course, go out to the family and to each one of the congregations of Antioch, the Apostolic Church. I appreciate you t listening for this few moments and getting to take this time to talk with you just in brief. And uh, God bless you all.